the two of cups, right? This is a significant relationship in your life that you must leave behind. You have to walk away from it because it's restricting your personal growth. This person is doing stupid things and being stupid things. They're under an energy of oppression and debauchery, and it is detrimental to your well-being. and you are leaving this situation but you have great hopes for this person. You're not leaving broken hearted. You're leaving with acceptance that these are your choices. This is the life that you want to live. By all means, have at it, but I'm not interested in being a part of it. That's what this is about, right? Two. Hey, a Taurus, it's Dana. Deep thoughts with Dana. What's going on? How's everybody doing? I'm doing well. I'm in a hotel room at the moment. I came to uh, Denver to tie up some loose ends and see family and stuff, and uh, it's snowing here. So I decided I was just gonna hunker down and hole up in a hotel and uh, do some tarot card readings, right? So I am putting a couple videos up um, um, here in just a few minutes. <laughs> I have some, uh, uh, some tarot appointments to do this afternoon, so they won't be consecutive back-to-back -back videos, but nevertheless, I'm gonna put up a bulk majority of my video Snickers. Stop. I'm on, I'm on YouTube. Stop. He's trying to dig a hole to China. <laughs> anyway, um, so yes, this is going to be a general reading for the collective of Taurus. What does that mean? That means that um, this is not your personal story. You may see threads of this in your life, but to, to know your real journey and your real story, you have to have your own cards read, right? This is a general reading. Um, do not hold on to anything in this reading as the gospel for your life, okay? You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com if you want your own cards read to find out what your own specific journey journey is about or reach out to anybody who floats your boat but just get your cards read if you see any reason for wisdom guidance clarity or understanding in anything that's about to unfold here okay all right let's do this i've already done the whole spread i wish i could show you when i get settled again i'm going to start putting the the little camera up and I used to have a, a camera up here that showed all the cards as you were looking at me and we were talking, but traveling and stuff, I just don't have the setup for that. So that's coming back, but bear with me, okay? So I have already laid out the whole reading and I'm just gonna read it front to back. Ready? All right, pull up the sleeves because this is a big one. Get you something to drink, kick back, get you something to smoke, wrap up because it's a big reading. It's a big, deep reading. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Dana. This is Deep Thoughts with Dana. Um, if you'd like to join the tribe, you can subscribe. Hit the little dinghy bell because I don't post very often at all. Um, so if you like what you hear here, you want to make sure that you hit the dinghy bell because I don't post a lot. And I will get lost in the shuffle if you just look for me in the scrolling stuff, right? So if you like what you see, hit the dinghy bell and that way you'll know when I do post things, okay? All right, you guys. Let's do this. So we start out this reading with the fool in reverse. The fool in reverse is a card about somebody who is stupid. Okay. Stupid, foolish, just, I should hold them over here because of the light, stupid and foolish, right? Not making good decisions, just a fool. Okay. Oppression was the clarifying card oppression. So this person is being held in a state of stupidity um, by forces beyond their control. Okay. They are being oppressed, but the eight of wands preceded these two cards. This is the card that leads the reading. This is saying that this behavior, this, this, this foolishness over here is very quickly going to change. There's going to be some movement, some action, and some swift change in this situation. So you're dealing with somebody that is oppressed by a foolish energy, okay? This foolish energy is blocking their ability to create anything important in their life. It's blocking their judgment. It's blocking their ability to live a productive life. It's about emotional immaturity as well. <coughs> Sorry. 
it's about emotional immaturity as well, right? So this person is emotionally immature and their foolish behavior is blocking them from moving forward in their life. This could be you, Taurus. Could be. It very well could be you. The six of wands in reverse, a lack of success, um, fall from grace, a state of disrepute. If this is you, Taurus, you're experiencing a great lack of success in your life. If this is someone else in your life, they have fallen from your good graces. The three of pentacles. Oh, I'm sorry. It was in reverse. The three of pentacles in reverse. This is a card about a lack of teamwork and collaboration, and it's clarified by debauchery, okay? So this tells me that this situation, you are not able to collaborate with this person. You're not able to get through to them. You're not able to help them in some way because <coughs> they are being led astray with debauchery. Um, morals, right? They're being led astray. They're oppressed in foolish energy and they're being led astray. And you can't quite get through to this person with the three of pentacles in reverse. What this also tells me is that this person or you Taurus are involved with people who are, do not have your best interest at heart. And that's where the debauchery comes from. This person is being led astray by people who are not good for them. Okay. General reading, right? I can't pinpoint anything. It's frustrating. The hermit. So therefore, you find yourself in the hermit energy, doing some serious soul searching and introspection. This is a card about being at your wit's end, right? This is a card about um, giving it up, right? To being like, Jesus, take the wheel, <laughs> whatever your thing is, right? You're like, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Soul searching and introspection. clarified by the devil. Okay. The devil. This represents the toxicity that is happening in this top row. This devil represents either you being foolish and being under the control of some kind of maleficent energy, um, or someone in your life that is being foolish and, and led astray. Okay, either somebody's leading you astray, you're leading somebody astray, or somebody that you care about and love is being led astray. Okay, okay, you're at your wit's end about it. Um, the devil represents this whole debauchery and debauchery and de uh, oppression thing, right? To the queen of wands in reverse. The queen of wands in reverse is somebody that is just, um, she's nasty. She's a bitch. Honestly, she is. She's she the Queen of Wands in reverse is a bitch. There's two aspects to the Queen of Wands in reverse. It's either the bitch or it's somebody whose whose needs are not being met. I think this is something about being true to oneself right here. I think this is both. I think needs are not being met because somebody's not being true to themselves. And I think this person is just being a complete asshole to you or you to someone else to the seven of cups in reverse with diversionary tactics, ghosting, not talking, avoiding the subject, avoiding everything that has to do with, with you or the other person, just avoiding, 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 right? And you're at your wits ends about it with the, in the hermit energy, just, just, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Now we have a big, huge deck of cards over here. Okay. Now, remember, the first card out was swiftness, right? Everything in this situation that we just talked about right there is fixing to change quickly. Okay. So we lead with the devil, right? This is the root card, the devil, the devil following the devil, no less. Okay. So the devil. This is this person, whether it's you or someone else, and they are being influenced and, and, and they are choosing to be, um, influenced by negative energy. Okay. Negative energy representing everything that's happening right there. Clarified by the world. 
This is about to end. It's about to end and a brand new cycle is about to begin. Hence, swiftness with the Eight of Wands. I want to ask a question real quick. Spirit, can you give me any more information about this devil? The Six of Swords, a regretful but necessary transition. So this is either going away. This devil energy is either going away or you're leaving it behind. Tell me one more about the devil, please. One more about the devil, please. One more about the devil. One more about the devil. Or it's coming out of choppy waters. It's changing though, right? Either this devil is coming out of choppy waters and, and things are changing, or you're leaving it, or it's leaving you. But this cycle is about to change either way. The devil, no, here, let me use these cards. Spirit, tell me one more about the devil, please. One more about the devil. One more about the devil, please. One more about the devil. Sun in reverse. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. All right. Like I said, either you're leaving this devil energy, this devil energy is leaving you, this devil energy is leaving a situation, but this is, it's moving from unstable waters into calmer waters. Okay. It's a regretful transition, but it is, um, it is happening. The sun in reverse talks about um, skeptical optimism. Skeptical optimism. Okay. Actually, let me get let me get another one on the sun in reverse. Hold on a second. Tell me about the sun in reverse. Clouded, foggy, not clear. The nine of swords in reverse. What? So the devil to the six of swords, nine of swords in reverse. I think you're leaving this devil energy. That's what I think. I think you are leaving this devil energy behind. Yep. Look, the two of pentacles. Yep. Look, and the, and the eight of cups in reverse. Yep. Taurus, you are walking away from this devil energy or this devil energy is walking away from you. But I think it's you are walking away from the devil energy to the two of pentacles and prioritizing things. So the attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth, that is the definition of the devil card. Um, the devil up here, hold on, let me put this together. The hermit, okay, in the hermit, they're saying this devil energy an attachment that is a restriction, um, let's see, needs not being met to the seven of cups in reverse. Okay, this also could be saying that you're in the hermit energy at your wits end, right? And they're in the hermit energy about an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. Your needs are not being met with the queen of wands in reverse. And you're beginning to think it's illusion or fantasy for you to even be involved in any of this. The devil again right? The devil, again, talking about the attachment that is restricting your personal growth to the six of swords, need to get the hell out of Dodge to the sun in reverse. It's not a good transition either. It's, it's a difficult transition. The nine of swords in reverse, it causes a lot of anxiety and it's been a very painful lesson. Eight of cups in reverse, walking away with utter disappointment to the two of pentacles and prioritizing you and yourself to the universe and closing out this cycle of your life. Wow. That took a turn that I wasn't expecting. Okay. All right. So now we go to where were those cards? <laughs> Hold on. Here they are. Okay. Okay. So Here's the rest of the stack of cards. Okay. So walking away, right? Walking away. It's been a painful lesson, super disappointing, but you got to prioritize your own shit, right? The universe closing out this cycle of your life. It's over to the Empress, right? You Taurus, you Taurus taking control of the situation, taking control of yourself, right? Um, Taurus, 
to the Ace of Cups in reverse. All of your lamenting and your hurt feelings about this whole situation, this, this is overwhelming emotion, right? Just overwhelming emotion because you're walking away from this whole situation. Death right? You're putting an end. There's going to be an ending, a change, and a transformation um, in this situation because you are choosing to walk away. The chariot, taking some action, right? Taking some action and heading out to the three of swords in reverse, talking about forgiveness, understanding, and acceptance. What this is about is acceptance, right? Because the Ace of Cups in reverse talked about um, heartbreak, right? Just heartbreak and overwhelming emotions, right? So instead of walking around like this, Taurus is taking action and, 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 and turning that grief and that sorrow into acceptance, right? It just is what it is and there's nothing I can do about it. It just is what it is. So I'm putting an end to this situation. I'm, I'm pulling myself up by my bootstraps and recognizing that I am the Empress, right? I mean, after all, I am the Empress and I do have the power to control, um, what is in my life and what is not in my life. And you are taking a regretful but necessary, that's the key, a regretful but necessary transition away from this foolishness and this devil energy up here. Okay? The Hierophant in reverse. You are reevaluating the way that you believe about this person and this situation. The Queen of Cups. Um, this Queen of Cups talks about um, your love for this person, your love for this person, but there's nothing you can do. This person is being a complete and utter screw up. And there is abs your hands are tied. There is absolutely nothing that you can do to change the situation. But you still love this person. You still love this person, even though you've had to reevaluate the way that you believe either your relationship should be, or, or maybe they're not doing what they're supposed to do. But you accept, look, you accept this person no matter what it is that they're doing, right? But you're just choosing to not have this in your life anymore and you're walking away. This could be um, a child, it could be um, a relative, it could be work, it could be love, it could be a marriage, it could be anything, but you are choosing to walk away from this and leave your heartbreak behind. Accept that it is what it is and reevaluate your belief system, adjusting it to, to acceptance and understanding because of the Queen of Cups, because you have much, much love for this person. The Alchemist in reverse, you see tons and tons of potential. The Six of Cups, um, you have, you see, hold on, let me, let me get this together here. Tons and tons of potential. The Queen of Cups. Um, potential, manifestation, and inability to manifest. Nope. Okay. So your love for this person is the alchemist in reverse, right? Your love for this person, you know this person's potential. You know this, this person's worth and you know this person's potential. To the six of cups. This tells me that this person is either um, a family member, a child, someone from your past, and I don't mean just like someone you haven't spoken to in 22 years, someone that is actively in your life right now, familiarity, comfort, somebody in your life. It could be a spouse, it could be um, a child, a brother, a sister, um, friend, a really close friend, right? That, that, is, that is who this devil energy is right here. It is somebody that is close to you that you have warm feelings and memories with, okay? 
you know this po person's potential. Um, deep right here, you know this person's potential. The Ten of Swords, but their betrayal and their deception, um, the, their betrayal and their deception to the Six of Cups in reverse. This is stuck in the past, right? This is, this is remembering this. Okay, this is remembering this. And despite this person's betrayal, deception, shady behavior, despite what they did to end the relationship, right? You know this person from back here and stuck in the past with the six of cups in reverse says that 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 your love for this person comes from way back, okay? The two of cups, right? This is a significant relationship in your life that you must leave behind. You have to walk away from it because it's restricting your personal growth. This person is doing stupid things and being stupid things. They're under an energy of oppression and debauchery, and it is detrimental to your well-being, and you are leaving this situation but you have great hopes for this person. You're not leaving broken hearted. You're leaving with acceptance that these are your choices. This is the life that you want to live. By all means, have at it, but I'm not interested in being a part of it. That's what this is about, right? To the Empress, you again, Taurus, you understanding your self-worth. Maybe you're this person's mother. Maybe this is your mother. Maybe there is something to do with, with some kind of maternal um, feelings towards someone, but you're walking away from the situation. Ace of Pentacles, and you are going to manifest a brand new opportunity um, elsewhere in your life. I do believe that Ace of Pentacles is a final invitation to this person as well. If you ever need new and fresh, if you ever want to start again, if you ever need help, um, I'm here for you. But other than that, I got to go, right? All right. The Nine of Swords clarified by the Eight of Swords. This is an intense amount of anxiety. You don't want to do this, but you have to do this. You have to. Justice. This is justice. This has brought justice to this situation. To the Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, absolute understanding of your decision-making process. The Wheel of Fortune, it is a turning point in the destiny of both of you. The Tower, upheaval and chaos. Um, this, what you're doing brings the Tower moment to the other person. And this Tower moment is also that Ace of Cups in reverse right there, right? All of the everything. This Tower moment is the culmination of this whole situation, right? The Tower is clarified by the Nine of Wands in reverse. This is just giving up. It's just like, I just, I give up. I, I give up. The High Priestess, Heart of Hearts, Soul of Souls. Um, I do believe, again, that this represents your love for this person. Um, this is your subconscious mind and your intuition. This is taking a knee with God. This is a lot like the Hermit card for me. It's taking a knee with God and saying, man, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. This is the only thing I know what to do. This is it. This is what I know what to do. This is also spirit confirming that your intuition is correct. Okay, your intuition is correct. You are doing the right thing. To the Seven of Swords, because they're full of betrayal and deceptions and lies. They are oppressed by a negative energy that is controlling their, um, you know, I, I, drug addiction, alcohol addiction. There's something here that makes this person not themselves and you can't, you have to walk away. Okay. Strength takes a lot of strength though. Like I said, you don't want to do this, but it takes an immense amount of strength, right? Because the only thing this devil does is bring you spiritual poverty. That's it. 
It's the only thing this devil does is bring you spiritual poverty. The attachment that is restricting your growth does nothing but bring you spiritual poverty. Prince of Pentacles in the center of the spread. You're tired of being stuck. Tired of being stuck in this energy. Tired of being stuck in this situation and in this, um, in this relationship. The Ace of Discs to the Ten of Cups, right? You just want peace in your life, Taurus. You just want peace. Just peace. I just, I just want peace, right? And to manifest something new and different to the Ten of Cups, something new and different that's going to bring me the satiety that I'm looking for, the satisfaction, the relational life satisfaction. And I can't stay stuck in this, in this situation anymore. You do what you need to do, bro or sis, but I can't. Because my needs are not being met. My needs are not being met. You're, you're lying, cheating, stealing from me. You are out of control. You are foolish. You are foolish. And not only are you foolish, but you're an asshole. Right? And my needs are not being met in this situation. And I'm a little pissed off about it. The Prince of Discs. As I look into my future... As I assess the landscape of my life, I don't want to take this with me to the world. This cycle is closing out of my life. Second time, this cycle is closing out of my life and I am going to start a brand new cycle. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Because if I keep doing what I've always done, I'm always going to get what I've always had. This is, in, this is not producing anything for me to the Ace of Cups. But if you ever need me, I will be here for you. I love you. I love you. I love you more than if you needed a heart transplant, I'd give you my heart. I love you that much. I love you. I'm here for you. My door is always open for you. But don't bring this shit up in my house. You want to start over? You want a fresh relationship? You want to heal things between us? I'm here. But until you stop being three times the devil, until you stop being foolish, until you realize you are being oppressed by energies that have nothing but debauchery at the heart of their intentions, until you get out of this situation, I do not want to see you, speak to you, or talk to you. But God damn, I love you. I love you. Four swords in reverse, right? Mentally restless. Two defeat with the five of swords, right? So we've got four of swords, five of swords. Again, we're escalating in the um, in the in the distress, right? So lack of progress, mentally restless, um, defeated, right? This is you just being like, oh, I just keep We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and Strength in Reverse. Snickers. Spirit, tell me about these cards down here, please. Tell me about the... Whoa, Nelly. Whoa. Two of Cups. Ha. Huh. Two of Cups. Many. Spirit, tell me about this down here, please. Tell me about this down here, please. Four of Swords. Two of Cups, Four of Swords. Two of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Okay. King of Pentacles in reverse. All right. OK. 
Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I think I need to get one for right here. Tell me about this, the defeated. Tell me about the defeated. I know there's a message here about uh, like a literal message. Tell me about this communication. Tell me about this. Why do we go from defeated to the eight of pentacles? The lovers. Ten of swords. Three of wands, four of wands in reverse. A transition. Maybe one more. One more spirit. I'm kind of slow. One more. One more. The Knight of Cups. I fucking knew it. All right. All right. So, that's how you feel, right? We move down here. Period. Period at the end of that sentence. Drop down. New paragraph, okay? New paragraph. New paragraph. So, so just when you're feeling um, stressed, about the whole thing, about the whole decision, because because you, you executed, right? You executed, whether you did it verbally or whether you just determined within yourself that shit's over, right? Um, and you feel defeated and you feel sad, right? You feel sad because lovers, because this was a significant, significant relationship in your life to the Ten of Swords that came to a painful end, very painful end to the four of wands in reverse. This is about a transition to the Knight of Cups, a message that is coming in. All right, so you gave up, look, defeated, gave up, ended it, right? With those two. And then we have, what did you end? The lovers, right? A significant relationship. Now, notice that this is not in the reverse. This is in the upright. In the reverse, it's about a misalignment of values, okay? But in the upright, it's about a true, very, very important, significant relationship about your choices um, in life. And um, I just feel like if there were no hope in this situation, it would not be in the upright, right? It would be in the reverse, reiterating just the 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 unequal foundation right the broken foundation i don't know why i had to say that so you got the lovers to the ten of swords this thing that ended painfully is about to transition because there's a message coming in a message of forgiveness with the knight of cups message of feelings this knight of cups is a card about somebody who is in touch with their emotions in touch with their intuition has it all together and is coming forward to communicate that that's what this is about so now you're getting a message so you cut all of this off now a message is coming in what's this message the eight of pentacles engaging working on something working something out to the six of cups um, family, that same person, right? The, the whole love, memories, nostalgia thing, whether it's your kid, your friend, your spouse, whatever it is for you, right? Um, this is about reuniting and reconciling differences with someone from um, a deep past, okay? It's about healing a deep wound, To the two of wands, now you have to look into the future, right? Three of pentacles, because this person wants teamwork and collaboration. Strength in reverse. Um, you're pulling on some inner reserves, right? You truly are. Two of cups, because this is a significant relationship in your life. Four of swords, contemplating what your next move is going to be now that this message has come through. You're at a crossroads with the two of swords right? Teamwork, collaboration. Um, don't know how many people are still hanging around you, right? To the King of Pentacles in reverse. This is a card about um,
card about being out of control. It's a card about um, lacking ambition, lacking focus. This represents who this person is, right? They used to hold title in your life, but they don't anymore, right? Might be dealing with uh, an earth sign. Just saying, don't have to be. But that's this is that person, okay? This person was also Capricorn, right? With the devil card. Okay. Look. The manifestation of a brand new opportunity. To the death card. An ending and a change. A transformation of what was into what will be now. A new beginning. The emperor to the lovers, to the Prince of Swords. This person is coming in very, very quickly with some hard, honest truth about your relationship, okay? This person is now presenting as the Emperor Upright, which tells me one of two things. Either they're full of shit and they're posturing or they've really, really come to their senses about something. And they want to fix the relationship between the two of you. And they're not taking no for an answer. Wow. Ace of Pentacles, Death, the Emperor, the Lovers, and the Prince of Swords. Wow. Wow, just when you let go, right? Just when you let go, whoosh, they come running in. Wow. All right. Now we got this whole stack right here. Okay. The Eight of Cups. Um, disappointment, abandonment. To the Queen of Cups in reverse, hurt feelings. To the Hanged Man, um, thinking about things. What are you thinking about? Well, the Nine of Cups. Happiness, right? Success. And the Tower. The Tower. Interesting to the hermit, soul searching, to the fool, a new beginning and a new journey. All right. So what do they say? They say exactly what I just said, right? Right, right? Um, this is um, disappointed, right? I mean, this guy's walking away from eight cups right here and he's going to find his other two. So what you're saying here is, you know what? I was disappointed in you in the past, but perhaps um, we can fill in the blanks here and see if we can um, complete this cycle, if we can maybe find those other two cups. Let's see what's going on, right? But disappointed and abandoned nevertheless. Your feelings were really hurt with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Really hurt, right? And But now you have some things to think about. You got to think about this apology that's coming in and this offer that's being made to the Nine of Cups because this actually makes you ecstatically happy. Ecstatically happy. It makes you, it's wishes fulfilled. It's like, this is like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. The tower, right? This is a tower moment. This is upheaval and chaos. The tower does not come without an awakening though, right? Without an awakening, the tower is just chaos. Um, an awakening, interesting. Into the hermit energy, soul searching and introspection. A lot of it to the fool about a new beginning and a new journey in this situation, in this relationship with this person. Five of swords in reverse, wanting to change the eight of wands in reverse, things that aren't going right. This is about no movement, no action being taken right? And you want to change that. You want to change the dynamics between the two of you to the king of pentacles and the queen of swords. Let's see. King of pentacles to the queen of swords. Um, this person is speaking their truth to you. This person is absolutely speaking their truth to you. To the ten of pentacles and the world. They want to fix this relationship and they want to build into the future. 
They want to end the cycle of you walking away and them being just ridiculous. They want to end that cycle and move into a new cycle. To the King of Swords in reverse, this manipulator that you were dealing with, this stubborn person that wouldn't accept any help, wouldn't see anything from a different perspective, a different point of view, this emotionally immature person from up here that, um, that is, was a blocking creation in every aspect of their life, I think because of some kind of addiction. King of Swords. Truth. Decisions execution of decisions this queen of swords and this king of swords where is it queen of swords right there to this king of swords this is everything that's talked about this is truth being spoken and communication happening between the two of you the high priestess in reverse i think secrets are coming out I think secrets are coming out about this oppression, about this debauchery, about this whole toxic devil energy, possibly addictions. Secrets are being, being exposed between that king and queen of swords right there. To the four of swords in reverse. Secrets that leave you, quite frankly, mentally restless. They do. They leave you uh, disturbed a little bit. Pull it on some inner strength, right? Pull it on those inner reserves because this information, this secret leaves you rattled. The devil. Hmm. The devil. I'm going to clarify this real quick. The devil. Stay there. The devil. So pulling on some inner strength because of this person's secrets. You know, I'm going to tell you real quick, um, I've picked up on two different things, but I'm trying to stay on point because there's so many different energies flying around, okay? Um, some of this could be about somebody that you love going to jail. Some of this could be about somebody that you love coming out of the closet. Straight up. It, it, it is. I, I feel this through the whole reading. Um, somebody is addicted to some kind of something that is um, influencing their decision-making process. Um, people, places, person, things, whatever. Um, this could be about somebody going to jail. And this also could be about somebody coming out of the closet and, um, and um, 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 embracing their homosexuality. For real, it could be. Just saying. Whatever. But anyway, okay. So the devil. I was going to clarify the devil. Spirit, tell me about the devil. I mean, it's all, it's like five times in this reading. Tell me about the devil. Judgment in reverse. Bad decisions. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, bad decisions that upset the family. Bad decisions that created issues. Um, bad decisions all the way around to the world. Um, they want it to end. They want it to end and they want it to change. But it's interesting that they're still coming at you in the devil energy though. Right? They're not coming. They, they came as the emperor. Maybe this is the way that you see them. Maybe, maybe this devil card is representative of this whole toxicity, right? But they came to you as the emperor, but yet they're still being presented as the devil because of a secret, because of the truth that's revealed. Maybe the truth that's revealed is why they are in the devil energy or about the restriction or the attachment, right? Drug addiction. Um, um, someone coming out of the closet, but it's not because being in the closet has anything to do with the devil energy. It's the attachment that is restricting the personal growth. The attachment was hiding this whole thing until now, right? That was uh, maybe because of fear of some kind of family punishment or fear of um, rejection or, or something something but some of that's happening for some of y'all right general read right but they want it to end they want it to end to the ace of wands they want an inspired passionate new beginning with you to the sun in reverse um this is you giving it the old fish eye right you're like man i don't know this is, makes me happy but i have some 
I have some lingering hang holdups here. I just have some lingering holdups, right? To the eight of cups. Um, I don't want to be disappointed again. I just don't want to be disappointed if I engage in this again and do and take note. Like I said, they're still coming at you in the, as the devil. Okay. So follow your intuition in this whole situation the, your gut reaction is your intuition our gut reaction the first thing that you feel that's your intuition but then immediately afterwards the emotions start flowing and the intellect starts flowing and the intuition gets pushed down and down and down right and before long you forget what your gut instinct was because now it's all smothered in emotions and and thoughts right your gut instinct trust your instincts in this situation to the ten of cups um, family home harmony everything beautiful that you want out of this relationship everything beautiful that you want out of it is now being offered but it's being offered by the devil and I don't quite understand that um, I just don't quite understand that the knight of swords right communication action orientated communication oriented orientated communication what else yep look yep 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 right so what you just keep thinking about is how you left the situation um and how it affects your future now and the three of swords the pain that all of this caused in the first place all right so i guess that sums it up Let's do a quick summary, right? So the whole situation is somebody is being a an asshole. They are um, being plagued by bad decisions. They're foolish. Um, they are being um, led astray or they're trying to lead you astray. Um, they are under an energy of oppression, which is affecting their decision-making abilities. Um, they're being a dick. They're totally avoiding you, the situation, ghosted, the whole damn thing, ghosted, right? Over here, you decide that this is an attachment that is restricting your personal growth and you are just going to walk away from it, truly and completely walk away from it, but walking away from it in love, right? Walking away from it, understanding and accepting that this just can't be for you and your life, right? Um, this just can't be so you have to leave it behind because all it brings you is spiritual poverty right and you're tired of being stuck there and you're going to go manifest new in your life bringing this whole cycle to a close i love you man but i can't be a part of this and i'm leaving whether you you audi audibly speak it or you just determine it within yourself right and you do and then lo and behold, here they come with an apology, wanting to work things out, giving explanations all over the place about what happened and why. And they want to uh, move forward with you. They want to move forward and have a brand new relationship with you. And you're just kind of on the fence about it a little bit. Um, not sure, right? Just not sure if this is legit or not or if it's just the same cycle repeating over and over and over again i can tell you what i didn't get in this whole reading was the wheel in reverse i didn't get the wheel in reverse anywhere the wheel in reverse is repeating cycles right over and over and over and over and over again right like a broken record um and i didn't get that here which gives me some hope that this is legitimate right that it's that it's legitimate all right i wonder if there's anything else that needs to be said here let's just ask spirit is there anything else that needs to be said in closing is there anything else that needs to be said in closing spirit any other words that need to be shared in closing here spirit anything else that needs to be said in this whole thing anything else the knight of cups the knight of cups to the emperor this person is going to apologize and they're going to come in and they're going to want to talk this over tell me anything else power with the four of pentacles right this gives you 
power. It does. It gives you power in the relationship. This also can be saying that this person now has power over whatever this defunct issue was up here. Science, right? They know that they know that they know that they know that they were wrong to the two of swords and they want peace. They want peace. All right. There you go, Taurus. That is your reading. Um, there may or may not be an extended reading. I'm not really sure because I haven't gotten that far and I have some afternoon appointments, so I'll have to come back and do this. So I'm not really sure if there will be an extended or not. If there is, y'all are see something floating around somewhere by now. And um, yeah, awesome sauce. So that's your reading, Taurus. Namaste.